Hey guys, Milo here, and today I'm going to be discussing the new Ash Green Ninja uh, Final Smash. And I posted a video earlier about it, but it was in kind of low quality. This one's a little bit better. It's from a Japanese tournament that happened semi recently, but it's actually kind of late. But I'm going to still talk about it anyway and talk about the changes because, you know, if you guys saw my videos earlier, those are those are all gone. So we're, we're going to be actually talking about the game, I'm going to be doing more commentary uh, type stuff. I'll probably still do the approach videos once the game is out, and I'll go over them a little bit about like what stage it's on. Uh, it's usually just generally their stage, but we're just going to get into the final smash, and we're going to compare it to the old one. Uh, it's a little bit different, it's not a huge change, but... It's a change I'll, that I think a lot of people will accept. So we look here. Can I? So it zooms in, and then does the final smash. Wait, it's basically the same. I love how Kirby still holds those trophies, just like looking at it. Yeah, like so, if you look, we go, let's go frame by frame. So if you look, it zooms in on Greninja. And then it goes slowly down, goes up, and then it does a little poof, and it changes into Ash Greninja. So that's the main difference of this Final Smash, as it like zooms in, and you can see the change to Ash Greninja. And then after that, he still does the little plank that launches that, uh, whoever's in front of him up. And then he goes, he does his kick, which launches, launches him. I love how, yeah, this is trophy just stays with Kirby. <laughs> and then we can see it's. And then just gets generally darker. Because I don't know if it's actually Ash Greninja anymore. Or if it's just the animation from last time. But. That's the main change. Um, I'll probably put it. Si I'm gonna put it side by side uh, with Smash 4's uh, final Smash. I think the main difference is just it being Ash Greninja. Also, they're also zooming in on him and showing like the proof animation. Like it's pretty quick too. It's like happens within like a couple. Like so, nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then all of them. All of, it's, it's pretty short. He changes within like one frame. Like I don't know if it, if he has it there. I don't know, it turns like, dude, oh, it gets rid of his skin. I was like confused. Why is he red? <laughs> That's his skin that he was wearing. It gets rid of it for the final smash. I guess. It would be kind of annoying to make one for like every single Ash Greninja, I guess. But it does get rid of his skin though. That's cool. It makes a little poof, and then he does a little kick. Uh, we're gonna compare it to Smash 4 now. So I'm gonna like exit out of this. Smash 4, let's go back a little bit. So, I, I took this video, I'll leave it in the description below. And cre credits to him. Credits to that guy. Posting this. But, let's get, let's get the sound on. Okay, so see, there's not really a zoom in on him because they don't need it. So they do. He puts it down and then he does his kick. See, there's no zoom in on him and shows like a little poof, like the 12 frame zoom in to change to Ash Greninja. I don't know if it keeps his skin in Smash 4, but that's the main difference. Other than that, the animation is pretty much the same from what I can tell. But it's still a cool sma final Smash, and I think that's about it. Uh, the approach videos will come back once. Smash Ultimate releases because I like two. I have two strikes, so we're gonna be chill from now on. Uh, I'm gonna keep up with these videos, so if you enjoyed, uh, follow me for some more. Uh, I stream on Twitch and YouTube on larger channels. So, everyone, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Peace.